people of the internet, or just people that I know who will probably be watching these videos. Anyway, hi. I wanted to do like monthly favorites. I see a lot of people doing this stuff. So I thought it'd be cool. August was coming to an end and I had a lot of cool products that I wanted to talk about. So here we go. My first August favorite is this fucking makeup bag right here. Um, with my idol Alaska on it from RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, and the back says, your makeup is terrible. I thought that was so fucking cute. I love this so much. And I have like a thousand makeup bags, but this is truly the best. And it has like this little pocket in the front. How cute. You guys can get this at Hot Topic. Um, so let's dig into like what's inside of here. Okay. So my first favorite is going to be, um, this has been out for a while, but they got new shades. So the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, focus, focus, you can do it. Okay, focus, hello. There we go. Um, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Now this has been out for a while. Um, it became newer to me, like, once I started working for Clinique, and I have fallen in love. This is, like, my favorite foundation of life. I've tried a thousand foundations, but this, this just does something for me, man. This is so good. It's 12-hour wear, full coverage, stays on, never does me wrong. The only issue I had is, like, I had a hard time finding a shade. Um, a lot of the shades were very pink in undertone. Um, I do myself tanner, like I'm naturally very fair, I'm Irish skin, so I'm like white as fucking white. But I do myself tanner and it turns me to like a golden color and I do like to be a little bit more golden and yellow in tone when I'm like tanner. So they finally came out with some more shades, there was a shade expansion. Um, I was using the golden neutral shade and that was a little bit too dark. For me so I had to mix it with some other foundations in order to make it work but now I have my perfect shade which is a 5.75 in cork so I'm very very excited about that um, and there are some other shades so if you guys were having a hard time finding your shade as well um, go in and check it out because now we do have some more shades um, and just a little disclaimer I do work for Clinique now uh, I've always been a lover of makeup in general um, I may have some more Clinique things than usual just because I have been discovering like new products from the brand I never actually like looked at the stuff before because I never had it at the Ulta that I used to work at um, so I've kind of been discovering new things that are new to me and um, Clinique has actually a lot of really good products, so um, I'm not saying it because I'm like told to or anything. Um, they don't tell me to make videos, I'm just telling it for my free will because um, Clinique has some hidden gems. I know that they're not talked about on social media all the time, but there is some really good stuff, okay? So don't count it out. Anyway. Um, my next favorite is going to be the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Now this is just like a clear brow gel. It has like a little applicator like this, if you guys can see it. It's like flat on one side and then has the little teeth on the other. I like to literally just like paint it on like that with the side and then like brush it up. Um, now, this is yet another thing that I kind of discovered working at my new location. Um, I did not have the Benefit Brow Bar at the Ulta that I used to work at, so um, I had gotten my brows done by uh, one of the girls that works there, Kaylee. Shout out to you, girl. And she had showed me some products that I had never used before and really helped me step up my brow game. Um, I've been trying not to do my brows so, like, drag queen-like. Um, lately I've been kind of going back and forth so I'll when I go to work I'll do them very very natural like just put in a little bit of the benefit um gimme brow it's like a colored brow tint and then I'll put a little bit of a pencil and a little bit of this on top and they do look more um, natural than what I have right now this is kind of like an in-between like it's not my full-on red pink brows but it's still filled in a lot um, so I've been trying out like different brow styles and I think it's cool Different days, different attitudes, different feelings, different looks require different 
brows and it's, it's kind of cool like my brows are um, blonde so I can kind of make them look different you know depending on how I feel um, and it leads me to the next product that I've been really loving uh, the Anastasia original brow pencil in Auburn um, now I wanted to use the benefit because I actually really like them when I've been trying them out um, with clients when they need like you know certain brow products at work um, I really like the texture of them I like the way they look um, I kind of do prefer them as opposed to the Anastasia, like the Brow Wiz, the Brow Definer. Um, but my problem is they don't have a red enough shade for me. So I had to, um, I decided to try the original pencil, like the sharpening pencil. Um, and I actually like this a lot because you can get it to look really natural when, you know, when I just have like my more natural brow days. Or if you want to like full on fill them in. So I actually really like this and I feel like not like a lot of people overlook this one um, just because the Brow Wiz and the Brow Definer are so popular but this is really good. It's called um, the Perfect Brow Pencil so you know it's not going to be on the top of the gondola when you guys are looking for it. It's going to be like down a little further and you know I really hope they don't get rid of this. I hope that this still like sells enough to not get rid of. Um, Back to the brow gel, I feel like I skipped over some points. Um, what I like about this is I like my brows to look more um, like fluffy lightly and just like more defined, more full, like that feathery look. Um, I've been really into that, so that's why I started using this. And um, it keeps the brows up, it really does keep them up. And it's almost like hairspray, like I'm kind of addicted to the feeling. Like sometimes I'll put on even like too much and just like they'll just really be sticking up, like they'll be like feeling like plastic. And I don't know why I like that look, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, another brow product, I kind of just like mentioned this earlier, um, was the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, so I started using this because I wanted to feel like on my days off, I wouldn't just have like my blonde eyebrows when I wasn't wearing makeup, that I could have like a little bit of a tint. Um, so I started using this, but it actually, started getting I started using it in my full makeup routine so if I like to do my more natural brows I'll just comb this through do a little bit of the pencil and then the brow setter um, or I've even been doing this if I do my red brows like I'll comb it through it helps me see a little bit better of like how to get a shape that looks more natural and not as like drag queen drawn on um, so this has been like a lifesaver to me uh, I can use this for so many different things, even if I just want to put it in my brow and just not bother with anything else. Um, there's like these little fibers in here, there's a little tint, so this is my life. Um, I had bought the little tiny one, but I'm going to have to get the full size because I am obsessed. Um, my next product is going to be a mascara. Um, this is the Clinique 24 hour workout mascara. I don't know if you guys can see 24 hour workout. Um, this is a part of the new Clinique fit line. Um, the line was supposed to be like a athleisure sort of kind of line um, where if you were working out, you go do yoga, whatever, that you could wear the makeup for that and it would be long lasting, sweat proof, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, I do not work out as much as I wish that I did, so I don't use this particularly for that. Um, I do like some light yoga and, you know, every day, but I'm not like running around sweating. I mean, I try. Sometimes I want to get back into working out. That's a whole other story. Anyway, um, what I really like about this mascara is I can wear this again. Um, on my days when I'm like off of work or I want to be really natural and just throw in some brow gel and some mascara. Um, it has a really, really nice wand. Like it's really long, long and thin and you can get, like this isn't going to give you the most like ginormous lashes of your life, but if you're just like really not wearing makeup and you just want to throw something on your lashes, this makes them look really good and it does rinse off with warm water so at the end of the day it just literally they come off and kind of like those little tubes they just come like right off there's no mess um, great for your lower lashes like they don't come off with black under your eyes that's one thing I can actually say about Clinique's mascaras is I never get the black under my eyes when I use them so I don't even use any other brands mascaras anymore because I would literally spend so much time on my concealer and then have black all under my freaking eyes and I, ugh, 
I hate that so much. But yeah, this is really, really good. So you guys should check it out. Um, you know, if you're just a, like a really natural person, you just need something for every day, this is great. And you don't want to fuss with the mascara that stays on too much and you have to like get your makeup remover. This is really good, really easy. Um, so I've been loving this a lot. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, my next product, oh my god, I am so obsessed with this. So this is just a little tiny sample, you guys. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, it's from First Aid Beauty. They just came out with um, these like liquid retinol, and this one's like a um, alpha hydroxy acid, kind of like peel resurfacing deal. Um, I try to stay away from these kind of things because my skin is actually really, really sensitive to products, especially peels, anything that's too abrasive and like resurfaces the skin. I really try to stay away from it, but at the same time my face needs it because recently, like I would say this summer in the past few months, um, my skin has gone from dry skin to combination oily skin and I get like a lot of texture in this area now. Um, so I get like these little tiny bumps and I don't know if it has to do with me like wearing a lot of makeup on a daily basis. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think I'm just producing more oils than I used to. Um, so I started using this because I had gotten a little sample of it. And the reason that it made me want to try is because First Aid Beauty, they are fragrance free. I will not use um, skincare products that aren't fragrance free anymore because my skin cannot handle fragrance. And I think that everyone really should use products that are fragrance free because why do we need to put perfume in makeup and skincare products? That I just don't understand. Um, anyway, so I wanted to try this and what really intrigued me is it has the alpha hydroxy, uh, bleh, the alpha hydroxy acids in it. It has like the really strong liquid exfoliators but it doesn't, like it has oatmeal in it, it has soothing ingredients. So it's not going to tear your skin up. You're not going to have to deal with all that. Um, so I've been using this for actually less than a week and I have seen such a difference in my skin. Um, I had a patch, just like a ring, a circle. You might still be able to see it a little bit. Um, I had a whole circle of just little tiny white heads that would not go away. And I've been using, I've been exfoliating every single day with a um, physical exfoliant because my skin has to be exfoliated or else I will get that really bad. So that started to help. But then I was also using my toners twice a day um, that give you a little bit of a liquid exfoliation. But this has really done the trick. My skin is just so particular about exfoliating and you can't do it too little or too much and now I feel like I have so much in my routine of exfoliation but this is doing my life justice. I'm going to buy the full size soon because I love, love this. Thank you so much. First Aid, thank you for making this. This is an amazing product. I actually really like First Aid Beauty, you guys. Um, I have pretty much since I started working for Clinique switched a lot of my skincare to Clinique. Um, I would just kind of use like a lot of like random different brands just because when I used to work um, at the other Ulta I was the prestige manager so I was always trying different brands all the time and now I think that can actually hurt your skin to be trying like too many different products and like too many different lines like you just need to find something that works for you and like kind of stick to it. Um, but I have switched all my products to Clinique and First Aid Beauty for my skincare routine. Um, I do also like here and there use Peter Thomas Roth. Sorry, I had to like get up for a minute so I don't know if the camera is like in the right area. Anyway, what I was talking about was First Aid. Um, since I have become combo skin, it's been very tricky to like find new products that work for me because when I was dry skin I was like oh yeah I love these products and now I'm producing oils and that shit doesn't work for me anymore so I started using I don't use this like every day but if I feel like my skin is really oily or acting up especially with this fucking Michigan weather right now it's been so hot it's been like the hottest summer um, I've been using these two guys. Now this is like a newer line from First Aid as well because they used to just have like 
products geared towards dry skin and I really like their um, ultra repair cream especially in the winter time um, so I really like this the skin rescue daily face cream um, this is safe for sensitive skin um, really good for combo skin um, it's got licorice in it um, I don't know what's in it that like really I'm trying to see what would really help with oily skin in here I'm really not sure uh, maybe it's licorice, but yeah, this is great for oily combo skin. It doesn't dry out my skin. It doesn't make it feel weird Because um, I have been trying out some products for oil, more oily skin that makes my skin just not feel hydrated enough um, And then also the cleanser with red clay it helps with your oils unclog your pores and purify um, My pores have actually been like I never had issues with pores before but now that I'm becoming more oily skin I am noticing my pores like I can't wear um, foundation without primer anymore so this has really really been fucking helping me so yeah these two guys are great um, and I do switch them out with like Clinique depending on like what's going on um, and then also another skincare product I wanted to mention the Clinique um, acne solutions clarifying lotion now I know it gets confusing because clarifying lotion you think it's a lotion it's realistically a toner um, it does give you like a liquid exfoliation though this is a part of the acne line um, now I am not acne prone per se but what's been happening since I'm producing more oils and going through my skin changes um, like that time of the month my breakouts have been awful that's the only time that I actually get pimples and I get them all around my mouth here so they're all hormonal um, so like the week leading up to my period and the week of my period I have awful awful breakouts around my mouth so I've tried like the kind of drying lotions um like the Mario Badescu one I can't stand that one my biggest complaint about it is that it leaves it's like pink so like you know when your man comes home from work and he sees you with all your zit cream on you have fucking pink up I just I hate it um I tried the Clinique one that one is really good um it just I don't know, it didn't do enough for me personally because I felt like the zits were like so underground. Like they were the kind that like hurt when they come out that I just needed something um, else. So I had, there was like a little tiny kit that I had bought with a little mini, mini one like this. And I tried this and this is great. Now I don't use this every single day um, because my skin's not acne prone and it can't handle it because I do still have some dryness. So I will get really dry if I try to use this every day. So I just use this when I'm having those issues around that time of the month. So for like a week or two, I'll use this and I'll go back and forth between like my regular um, toners. But this has been a lifesaver because it gets underground to the skin in the pores, in the layers. And I feel like it really, really, really helps. Um, and then I have two more favorites. Um, this one right here, the Parian Spirit Brush Cleaner. Oh my gosh, this is a fucking lifesaver. Um, I discovered this when I was um, at work. The Lancome Boutique had a little mini one of this, and um, it's what they send the artists to clean their brushes with. Um, because, you know, I work all day long, we're cleaning our brushes, we're using them on clients, we're cleaning them after every use. Um, we try different brush cleaners, you know, there's different kinds that we use. Each brand kind of has their own that they use. Um, but I tried a little bit of this one day because I just had like, you know, you have that brush that just won't get clean. So I tried this. Oh my god. This gets everything out of the brush and it smells amazing. It has like, um, I think there's like lemon and orange like essential oils in this. This is great, so I ended up ordering it online, and now you can get this huge ass bottle for like 20 bucks. Now this is going to last me forever. I've been using it like crazy, and look, and honestly, like I didn't even use that much. I poured it into like a smaller bottle, like I poured it in this, and that's why that's there's so much gone. So I really haven't used any of it yet, and this is great because I, I'll admit, I'm really awful about cleaning my own brushes. Um... When it comes to my clients, I'm really like severe about cleaning the brushes. I'm very adamant, but myself, I'll be like, oh, whatever, I'll use a, a nasty brush. But you know what? I've been cleaning my brushes more, 
because this is so easy and it smells nice. So it makes me clean my brushes more. And I think that's been helping my skin because dirty brushes on your face, girl, is not good. Um, and then I have a last favorite. It's not like a beauty product per se, but um, I get a lot of questions about this because I wear it all the time. And everyone's always like, what are you wearing? What's that smell? It smells like incense. It smells like candles. Um, this is like my favorite little perfume oil. It's called Opium from this brand, Wild Rose. I don't know. Um, I had gotten this when I had gone to Frankenmuth. It's a rollerball, by the way. Um, when I went to Frankenmuth in March for my birthday, or it was April, whatever. I went for my birthday, and I had picked this up because it smelled so good. It was sold at, like, this little shop in Frankenmuth. You can get these online. They are, like, $15 online. They're, like, $8 at the little shop. So if you can find these in, like, little shops, it's great. Um, I don't even know how to describe the smell. It just smells really good. It smells like incense, smells like candles burning, just everything good. So I wear this all the time and I'm really into um, like essential oils and the particular smell of this always triggers a memory of my trip to Frankie Minutes. So whenever I'm like stressed out or feeling like I'm going crazy, I put this guy on and it's my little thing. I just I love this so much. So if you guys want to know like more about essential oils, let me know because I'm like an essential oil freak nowadays. Um, so yeah, those are my favorites. And we're done. Bye. Wait, you know what else is a favorite? This fucking shirt. Like, can we appreciate, we take a moment to appreciate this shirt? Fucking Lisa Frank. My childhood. Amazing.